Ah, yes. We've come across a BSV in his natural habitat. The plumage colors on his shirt represent his place in this world. Perhaps it may have other reasonings, such as reproductive ritual. No? Oh. The BSV seems distraught. Let us go. Hello, dear friends, and welcome to another installment of Being Still with a Voice That Works. Have you ever heard of reptilians? Of reptile-like humanoids who control the entire world? I thought that this was absolutely ridiculous, and I still do in some ways, but the evidence is compelling. Especially after watching a man on YouTube named Praveen Mohan. Praveen has been on the History Channel, Ancient Aliens, things like that. But he goes around to temples in India, and he makes amazing connotations, correlations, and explanations that you would have to see to believe. I'm going to show you his whole video, so please, after watching it, go to his channel and like, comment, perhaps subscribe, so that he can receive the attention from this video that he so much deserves. Hey guys, in ancient times, people around the world worshipped lizards as gods. This is largely forbidden and forgotten today, but in India there is a 1,800 year old temple and you can see devotees lining up to touch and worship a carving of a lizard. Actually, there are two lizards here. One is a giant golden lizard and the other one is a smaller silver lizard. Today, they've put metal engravings covering the ancient stone carvings behind them. And worshiping lizards is not a recent practice. The name of this temple is Varadaraja Perumal Temple and it was built in the 3rd century AD. So this worship started at least 1000 years ago. Ancient Indians believed that lizards and other reptile-like beings came from the sky and had magical powers like shape-shifting. Even today, you can see that Hindus believe that these lizards can help them heal from their diseases and bring them good fortune. But this is not the only Indian temple where lizards are worshipped as gods. There is another temple called Baligiri where there is another lizard engraving on a piece of metal. In this temple too, it is worshipped as a god of good fortune. But this is strange, right? Even if you are a Hindu, you are probably surprised that lizards are still worshipped as gods because I'm showing you a very rare phenomenon. But why are they worshipped as gods? Because lizards have a third eye. Yes, they physically have a third eye called the parietal eye. And many times it is located exactly where you want it to be located. Yes, on the forehead between the two eyes, very similar to the third eye depiction in Hinduism. And not only does it look like an eye, in some lizards like the Tuatara, it also has a lens, cornea, and a retina like an actual eye. Scientists now confirm that this third eye can not only sense light, it can also be used as a GPS navigation system. And guess what? It is part of the pineal complex, meaning it functions with the pineal gland. Some claim that in ancient India, a type of lizard people or lizard gods existed and they coexisted with humans. These reptiles were quite sophisticated and they even assisted some kings in war. In this ancient temple, you can see a battle scene. Here is a soldier on a horse wielding his sword. At the bottom, there is another man with a sword in one hand and a shield in the other hand. But what is that scaly thing next to him? 
Look at its skin. You are immediately reminded of a crocodile, but it is standing on two legs and see what it's about to do. It's about to bite a man's head off alive. Look at the size of the lizard and the size of the human. The lizard being is quite large. It is taking out one man with a single bite and is handling another man with its claws. There are no such giant lizards today. And what I find interesting is that its third eye is covered with a religious symbol called Udvapundra. This symbol is also worn by Lord Vishnu and his followers, clearly indicating that this lizard is not just some random animal, but rather a divine lizard person. Indian texts talk about a lizard called Indriga who could shape shift into a human whenever he wanted. They also mentioned that he could change his skin color like a chameleon and blend with the surroundings. According to some, he was also capable of walking on water. This is really interesting because some lizards can walk on water. In the Americas, the basilisk is more commonly known as the Jesus Christ lizard because it can walk on water. In India, there are many, many temples which have carvings of lizards. The famous Brihadiswara temple also has a carving of a giant lizard. These carvings are usually placed in unusual locations and 99% of visitors will not see them. However, if you analyze any ancient Hindu temple carefully, you can almost definitely see at least one carving of a lizard. According to some Hindus, a golden lizard descended from the sun. Its skin was golden like the sun and it was immortal. Humans initially tried to kill this lizard by throwing it in fire, but it did not die because it was made of fire itself. Seems like a fancy folklore spun by some locals of South India, right? Strangely enough, the same beliefs existed more than 4,000 miles away. The famous cathedral of Notre Dame in Paris is known for its unexplored secrets. 99% of visitors would never notice this relief carving. A woman holds a flaming disc resembling the sun, and inside you can see a lizard. The lizard is shown emitting flames of fire and is shown with all its body parts, indicating that it is resistant to fire. In ancient and medieval Europe, you can find many manuscripts showing the same detail. A lizard unharmed by fire. Is it possible that such fire-resistant lizards existed in ancient times? Why else would an 850-year-old cathedral in France put a flaming lizard in an unnoticeable location. Less than two miles away from this cathedral, there is a majestic bridge called the Pont Alexandre III. Inaugurated in 1900, this bridge is only 123 years old, but is filled with figures of ancient gods and goddesses like the Nereids. But in a remote part of the bridge, a golden lizard sits majestically in a corner, waiting to be spotted and worshipped. Coincidence? But there's more evidence that lizard worship is practiced in the United States, not by Native Americans or something like that, but by presidents and governors and other elite people. In the year 2000, on July 15th, radio host Alex Jones and his cameraman 
used hidden cameras and filmed a secret ceremony attended by elite Americans in a restricted place called the Bohemian Grove. The ceremony was conducted in front of a 40-foot tall owl statue and Alex Jones published the details as a documentary. In an interview, Alex Jones called it a mystery religion ceremony and claimed that U.S. presidents like Richard Nixon worshipped a lizard god. Not only is this documentary banned on social media, Alex Jones himself is banned on all social media platforms, including YouTube and Twitter. In the U.S., it's widely believed that many of the world's richest are not humans. They are secretly lizards. The internet is full of these lizard person memes. In a live Q&A session, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg had to clarify that he's not a lizard. In another discussion, he accidentally slipped up and said he was a human in the past. Watch these clips. When you do these live Q&As, some of them are very silly. So we got one. Mark, are the allegations true that you are secretly a lizard? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go with no on that. Uh, I, I, am, I am not a lizard. Because you're human, and, and I was human. I am human, still. Um, <laughs> but, um, but, it, but I was just referring to myself in the past. Um, not that I was not human. Katy Perry's glitch video became viral after one of her eyes kept closing and apparently she had to press a button on the side to open it. Jeff Bezos was caught eating a lizard and the memes about him being a lizard eating its own kind exploded. These beliefs have become so widespread that when you search Jeff Bezos lizard, YouTube has to display a fact check that these are false claims. Why are these rich and powerful people associated with lizards and reptiles? While these recent trends and memes make us think about the connection between lizards and humans, ancient boulders around the world all worshipped reptiles without a doubt. In Africa, they worshipped a figure called Nomali. Hundreds of these ancient statues have been found, and they are clearly lizard-like beings with large, bulgy eyes and scaly skin. Some of the Nomali statues look human from the front, but at the back they have a lizard attached to them, indicating that these are secretly reptiles posing as humans. But the mystery only gets deeper. Is it possible that the very first god that humans worshipped was a lizard? Why do I say this? The oldest archaeological site as we know today is called Gobekli Tepe in Turkey. It is said to be about 12,000 years old. And what do we find here? A strange carving of a giant lizard perched upside down on a wall. Most people think that, yes, this is a lizard because mammals cannot stand on a wall upside down. And you can see a smaller mammal below standing in a normal position. It is probably a pig or a boar. Compare the size of the lizard, it is much, much larger than this mammal. Of all animals, why did ancient boulders choose to carve a giant lizard 12,000 years ago? How are reptiles and humans connected? Did lizard-like beings exist in the past? Is it possible that they still exist today? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I am Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Wow. That was an amazing video. Even though technically I'm just standing in the woods and adding it in later, 
I can pretend that I just saw it, and it was incredible. So tell me what you think. Did ancient people all around the planet share in a hallucination? Or is there some smidgen of truth to this story? I'm interested to see your comments down below. And as always, be still.